Anyone can compost. If you have a spot of dirt that's three feet by three feet, you can pretty much compost. Compost is decomposed organic material. It's material that was once alive, that's undergone a microbial process with bacteria and fungi to break down or decompose and create nature's healthiest soil amendment. My name is Judy Elliott and we are at the Denver Master Compost Site, our Gove composting site. I am a lead trainer for the Denver Master Composter Program. My name is Rucker Myers and I'm a Denver Master Composter. My name is Kira Gregory. I'm a Denver Master Composter. It's really important that we chop material up into one to two inch pieces. The small pieces make it easier for the microorganisms to decompose it. We're reducing the particle size, increasing the surface area. The material that we're using right now, this is end of season. Zucchini over there to some flowers, to some trumpet vine with the stems the little branches. It's tough, woodier material. That's called carbon material. It gives structure. It's like a strong backbone to the pile. The green material, the leaves, the zucchini, are nitrogen material, and that's a source of amino acids. That's going to make the pile heat up. One of our master composters is pulling apart some alfalfa, which is really rich in nitrogen, and we have some straw, which is a source of carbon. So we're building a pile right here on the ground. One of the richest sources of fall material for compost, which are leaves. So we're adding not only carbon and nitrogen, but we're adding different textures to the pile. So four to six inches of chopped mixed texture, mixed brown material, two to three inches of chopped mixed green material, I'm just going to get a handful or so of this compost, really rich in microorganisms. We're going to add that. This is already decomposed. It's going to add a rich bacterial culture to this. And then we're going to mix all that together. We want to water these first layers until they feel like a wrung out sponge. This is treasure. started this pile in June. We covered it with black plastic to keep out excess wind and keep the moisture in. Very important. We're going to show you what pretty much finished compost looks like. And then we're going to pull out some of that compost before we add so we can layer it with our new material. Then we're going to start adding some of our fresh material. This is a mix of carbon and nitrogen. Before we water it, we are going to mix it. And then we're going to take our hose and we're going to slowly water it. You can see we're not going really too heavy or anything like that. We want that water to feel like a wrung out sponge. And we're going to go ahead and add some more green and brown material, mixed, pre-chopped up, many different textures. When we mix it the second time, we're just opening up new sites for decomposition. And then we're watering it again until it feels like a wrung out sponge in order to get the process started again. And this pile will break down very quickly. Lots of green material, so the green material with more water is going to make the pile heat up and the brown stems are going to give it structure. Ideally, when we build a compost pile, we want it to be a minimum of a cubic yard in volume. We don't have that now. We're starting with what we have. And as you can see, this is not any high-tech bin. This is cement blocks. It has air that's allowed on the side. We're putting all the material in and we're moving it more towards the back to make this bin as high as possible. A 
once a week we would take off the plastic cover of this pile, pull material out and flip it over so that we're pulling material in from the sides to the middle and flipping it top to bottom. Giving our bacteria and fungi new areas to eat at that time, we can dig in small quantities of non-meat food scraps. So we're gonna finish up the process covering it with plastic. Again, we have the holes at the side for aeration, and we're just gonna keep the plastic down with some rocks, very low-tech system. If you're using compost to enrich soil for perennials, you do not need to screen it. What goes through this quarter-inch hardware cloth is material which is very appropriate for using in a seeding operation when you're planting seeds or your transplants in the spring for vegetables. The closer you are to planting time, the finer the material should be. So there are lots of containers that are on the market for composting, but we really don't recommend any of them. They're just really basically a place to store your compost or contain it. So whether you choose to use a homemade container, the important thing is the process that the material needs to undergo is exactly the same. Doesn't matter if you use a tumbler or a bin or a free form pile. to align healthy soils with healthy people through composting, through healthy living. I love that. <laughs>